Hey, what's going on, guys? XP here. So a while ago, I did a review of a um, Android car stereo for my E92 BMW, E90 series, BMW 3 series. And it got such overwhelming views. It had over 10,000 views at this point with lots of people asking me about the radio itself. Well, how does it work? How do you install it? Is it good? Well, here we have another review of a bigger radio, a 9-inch radio. Uh, which is way better than the previous one that I had. I love the previous one so much. It has served me over a year now, I think I had it in the car. So this one, the manufacturer reached out to me and said, hey, do me a favor, take a look at this one and see if you like it. So here's the unboxing of it. Comes with all the wiring, comes with all the paneling that fits the dash, the Bluetooth antenna, the, um, the CAN bus system you're looking at right here. Also comes with uh, some... <clears throat> user guides and so forth but to be honest the installation was so simple it was plug and play for me everything from the old stereo worked uh to the new stereo it took me maybe five ten minutes to install this thing didn't have to run a new wiring but here's the beautiful screen you're looking at right here it is so nice a screen it's so big a screen uh i'm telling you having it in the car now for over a week and driving and experiencing it is just remarkable and amazing from the first version that i had so you guys are definitely going to want to grab this. I definitely approve of it. It looks good. It works good. But without further ado, let's get into the installation of it and what the old one looks like to the new one. Here we go. So here's the old radio that we are about to replace. It's been a good radio so far. It has worked the way it was described in the packaging, but I got a new radio and we're going to be taking a look at that one. But this one had the old Bluetooth. Um, for connecting to your wireless uh, phone <clears throat> and streaming music had the radio function had uh, I use ways for my navigation YouTube um, just different apps you guys can get and use for this radio touch screen as you can tell settings Chrome browser full touch screen with Wi-Fi I had the navigation button that works on here where you bring up all your nav, show you where you are and things like that. And just many different features. I, I like this radio. I never really use these buttons because <laughs> everything is touch screen, you know. But this is how the um, the climate control system fit in the radio here. So yeah, um, we're just gonna be going from that to basically this right here. Uh, notice the difference with full flush, flush <laughs> touch screen to so a few buttons on that one and it should be a direct swap and if you could see the contours of this radio uh, should fit in the slot right there with this older one this is the uh, join uh, radio g-o-y-i-n-g -I, I like it and it should be a direct swap out based on the wiring that i looked at um, we'll find out if it is or not but all the wiring that came in the box uh, for this one you know that's the box that all the wiring in the back seat right there I think it's a direct swap for the older radio that I have in for the new one here. So um, we're going to pop it in, see how long it takes me to get it in and get it up and running. Show you guys. All right. So we're popping out the uh, old radio here. Just basically was only uh, two screws that held it in right here, right here. Popping this bad boy out. There's the uh, join radio. All the wiring that's coming along with it. Might look like a mess, but it's actually very easy wiring main wiring harness can bus harness some power wiring in the antenna it's not that hard to be honest so that's going to be the uh old radio coming out and we're going to be putting in the new radio uh, right there all right so there it is pretty easy uh this is the um microphone for the bluetooth for your car radio this is the wiring harness plug here uh, we have the antenna plug and the last one is the GPS plug. I'm thinking that it should be a direct swap out. Also came with a CAN bus decoder for the BMW E90 and the X1 platform. Um, the new wiring harness should have all of that. I'm gonna actually go ahead and reach for it back here and match them up and see. But that is the old radio out and that's the new one side by side, so get a chance to see the actual size and shape of both of them side by side that we're going to be uh, putting in. Uh, looks like the same wiring diagram for both. I don't see any differences at all. So that's what we're going to be doing. But here is the, uh, the new wiring setup. And I think it should be the exact same thing. As a matter of fact, I want to go ahead and match up 
the old CAN bus JY20180904 for BMW E90X1 and uh, it has a little different CAN bus item number still for the E90 and the X1 but it says 20181213 I'm not sure but I'm gonna try it first also for the uh, wiring harness I wanted to see if that fits in here I'm gonna have to look in the new packaging and see if it's gonna be similar to this one right there so I'll take a look at the wiring colors and see if it can match up with a direct plug and play and then so I don't have to mess with this is the original factory wiring this is the wiring harness that it comes in that fits into the factory wiring which is basically this right here so we'll see once we get them both in so as far as I could tell it's the same color matchup with the two connectors one new and one old that's already in a car so the only thing that look like the CAN bus might be different but CAN bus allows you to work with the steering wheel controls the skip up and down also the volume up and down and answering the phone so um, that's what the CAN bus box does which is this box right here but looks like a direct matchup so let's plug it in see what we got all right so there we go after it looks like a direct swap out of the wiring it's in uh, I can see the radio is f the climate control is flushed back recessed a little bit but not a big deal but now we have a full screen here I haven't even powered it up yet so <laughs> Let's put the key in and see if this radio powers up immediately. Whoa, look at that. Like immediate power up, that's quick. This is the first time I'm plugging this radio in guys. Very first time. And it's already came up with the welcome screen. Um, let's see what we could do here. Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, let me see if radio works on this thing. Is that radio? Yep, volume is up. Let me um, see if I can find a station here. Wow. I would have to turn down all that beeping sound I don't like, but it looks like the radio is up. I mean, immediately, one switch over, and, um, yep, there it is. It's actually working. No way. Yeah, bigger screen, way bigger screen than what I had before. Here's the old radio right here for comparison's sake. Hold on, let me just switch hands here. That's the old radio for comparison's sake. And that's the new radio right there. So you can see kind of a side-by-side -side view of how much bigger this screen is compared to the old, the old one. The new one is a much bigger screen than that one right there. A couple things I'm gonna have to try but um i'll do that here shortly but yeah i can tell right away so all right we'll see what happens let's see um if i have no home touch screen is very responsive on this thing let me um stop the music here just turn it down a tad um usually i want to go into settings right away and start adjusting stuff on the settings itself um data usage device sounds you know keypad tone i want that off loud is on amp is off and now subwoofer equalizer it's so much different looking at this big screen wow and equalizer you can start adjusting the stuff on it uh, this is a, a much more wider band equalizer too it's got way more settings than uh, the previous one had let's go back home uh, just so much things you can customize here you know what I want to try right away I have the cat the reverse camera in. let me start the vehicle real quick all right and see what happens screens come back up let me see if, if I put the car in reverse if the camera comes up right away um, yep there it is reverse camera wow that's a much bigger screen that's my overall impression right away is how big the screen is on this thing so yeah reverse camera works everything comes back up uh, the steering wheel control work for volume and stuff there it is right there volume and stuff come up so the steering wheel control does work right away right off the bat um, let me go home I wonder if I could skip stations with this I want to use this button here yep stations do work so you can skip stations immediately right away from preset stations that you have saved up not bad so yeah right away the CAN bus decoder works for the car and uh, there's much more I have to dive into here 
turn off the car here and see what else we can do but so far so good um, I'm gonna check Bluetooth I'm gonna check a whole bunch of stuff I'm gonna customize this the way I like it but touchscreen looks very responsive to input Bluetooth music Bluetooth on um, I'm gonna connect it to my Wi-Fi and see easy connect that's with your cell phone. I need to see that one. It mirrors your cell phone screen as far as what I was reading in the instructions. Um, it does have, um, should have Z-Link, which is the CarPlay adapter when you plug in a phone. It should pick up your phone and do Apple CarPlay. So that's gonna be something I'm looking forward to having here. So it's waiting for a phone to be hooked up. So anyway, let's go back home and let's go back to the main screen. There it is, okay, cool. Oh, it's got an on-screen control too for Z-Link. Interesting. Yeah, I need to play around with this radio a little bit more, but it's got some features here that I like, actually. Yeah, I need to know, um, mess around with this a little bit here, but so far, so good. As far as plug and play capabilities up to radio, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna screw it in temporarily right now, see how it fits in the dash, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, so here it is. This is the full installation of the Join nine inch android singleton car stereo and as you could tell it's fully installed and it's a beautiful 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 radio as a matter of fact uh the car is running right now let me go ahead and shut it off take the key out so you guys can see how quickly this starts up so there it is screen is in everything is in position the way it's supposed to be and um it's just right off the bat there it is keys in screen comes up immediately um, I've had it in for a few days as a matter of fact you just saw um, Apple CarPlay pull up I want to actually get out of that real quick um, and I'll show you how the Apple CarPlay works because I have my other phone plugged into it right away but just like the other Android car stereo this is Android 8.1 on it but this is a much faster processor 8 core processor than what we had before which much more RAM because the quickness of this thing and the screen is so, so beautiful. I mean, everything on the touch screen is so quick. That's the Bluetooth there. Let's go back. Uh, that's the radio station there. Let's go back. I mean, there's Waze map on here. I mean, I have everything on here loaded up the way I had on the old car stereo, but everything is just so much quicker, so much faster to process and so much easier to use. I have uh, easy, easy connection. Um, let me go ahead and actually take this call. I'll be right back with you guys. So also along with the Easy Connect button that allows you to um, do a screen sharing either with your Android phone or your Apple iPhone, which is a pretty cool feature. We'll try to demonstrate that for you. I mean, I have YouTube, you have Chrome, you have Z-Link, which is Apple CarPlay or Android Car. Android Play, whatever you call it, you got settings, you got settings for the car, you got equalizer, and you just many more apps you can download for this thing. So your heart's content, go to the, the Android store and download anything for uh, Android Auto, and you'll be able to get it uh, with this radio. But uh, let me just start back from the, the beginning here. The main feedback of having this radio and driving with it for the last few days since I've gotten installed the radio is the fact that this screen is so big and so huge and everything is so legible on it. It is fast, it is clear, it is clean. The sound of the music and everything is so nice on this thing. I mean, let me go ahead and, and pull up something here real quick. Uh, not now, I don't wanna update yet. Yeah, I just wanna pull up um, a quick video here. Let's see all my searches. Uh, Explain 1972, that's my channel. Uh, here's my last video there real quick. And as you can tell, so, uh, let's see. Let me fast forward this. You can hear the sound already coming up on this thing, which is pretty good. Actually, let's back it up. I like the song. This is a, a, um, a song that I use for my intro videos. But I'm actually doing a Wi-Fi right now. Wi-Fi, um, tethering from my other iPhone right here. So that's what we're using to stream right now. And um, you can do full screen mode. And that's not even the full quality of it. So just like with um, YouTube, you can go up to all kinds of different quality, even um, HD, 720p. And it shows really, really, really good. So, but 
and the volume control of course on the steering wheel works. You can take it down here or you can swipe down from the top of the screen and get the volume control right there. Very responsive. Let me scrub this video to a um, bit further up here to show you guys just how nice this is. And that's just tethering again, but the quality of the video on the screen is so good that I love it. I mean, I just, just one of the, some of the features that's on this thing that works properly. I know this is, this is gonna be like a five minute review, but it's gonna end up being longer than that. But anyway, all right, let's get out of that. I just wanted to show you guys that, um, you know, any apps that you have, you can use. And it actually allows you to do a mini screen that you can move around anywhere you want on it or you can just get rid of it uh, let's go home back to the home screen um, you have tons of settings for the car itself you know you have the Wi-Fi settings you have the data settings the device settings you have the sound you have the display settings you have the general I mean backup camera the whole nine everything works and it's so fast the way it works with the system and um, that's it. And you can add all the apps that you want. You have apps to monitor your car, telemetry. You know, anything you get at Android order works good. Uh, let's fire up a couple of things here. Um, as a matter of fact, let me start the car again and watch the screen. Dims out for a second. As soon as the car is up, the screen comes back up really quick and really fast, right? Feature that I like most that I've been using on this thing previous to the other radio that I had is the Z-Link. Z-Link is where you can connect Apple CarPlay or Android, right? So you have both. You can you can do both on it. And the third one, I'm not sure what that is, Google or whatever, but it says it's waiting for me to plug in the phone. So let's go ahead and connect this phone right here. All right, so I have the phone. I'm gonna plug it in. I'll show you guys how quick it takes for it to come up. Give me a second here, let me switch hands. And let's do this on screen, let's plug that in. Immediately once you do that, it starts to connect right there. It says connecting. And then it comes up right there. Apple CarPlay, it says CarPlay on the phone. And I'll just set that right there. So that's CarPlay. Now, once you're in CarPlay, man, your, your whole world just even increases as far as the functionality of the radio and stuff. Most favorite app to use is Waze. This Waze coming up right there. And it shows you where I'm sitting right now. Uh, let's go home. You know, you have the YouTube Music app that comes up really nice, but it, it works so seamlessly with everything. You know, all my, my things I listen to. iArt Radio, Vox, Google Maps, WhatsApp is on here. The Messenger works very good. The Maps work, audiobooks, podcasts, now playing. I don't want to play any music because, you know, um, get copyright strike, but Apple CarPlay is absolutely incredible on this, definitely. Let me see if I can do Siri on it. Hold on. Hey Siri, what's the weather outside? It's currently partly cloudy and 93 degrees in Boca Raton. Expect cloudy skies and thunderstorms starting in the afternoon with mixed conditions for the rest of the day. Temperatures are heading down from 93 degrees to 82 tonight. Wow, there you go. That's it. That's Siri. I mean, that's how simple it is. Uh, volume control does work in Apple CarPlay also on the steering wheel. I like that. If you go to music, you can switch from tracks to tracks using the track up or track down button. I mean, I don't want to play it right now because I don't want to get a copyright track as I was saying before. But the functionality on this, um, let me see here. Let me try another one. Show me directions to Walmart. Okay. One option is Walmart Supercenter on South Military Trail in Del Rey Beach. Let me know if you want to hear the whole list. See, that's it, and it already routed me. I just click go, and I'm being routed already. I mean, that's the functionality of this thing, and that's how good it is. It's funny, it even comes up on my Apple Watch right here. <laughs> wow, so it's tied into my watch, it's tied into Apple CarPlay, it's tied into the iPhone itself. That is nuts. It just came up on my phone, right? my, my watch right there, gives me directions. Uh, let's go ahead and cancel that. We don't want to go to Walmart. Uh, those are some of the options on here. Again, audiobooks. Just if you have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, it works seamlessly with it. If I want to get back and go to the main car stereo, there it is, right there. Car stereo is good. 
The main thing for me is just the size of the screen. Even my backup camera, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse. This is the old camera that I had. There it is, backup camera is gonna come on right there. Perfect. Take it out, good deal. Make sure it's in neutral, comes back to the stereo. Um, there's not a lot more to say about it. Um, it's all positives for me. It's so fast. The microphone in here, when I'm speaking on the stereo, picks up so much better than it did before, right? Um, everybody can hear me clearly without an issue. Um, the equalizer for the music, uh, it's what, a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, like a 16 band equalizer. And it does work, and it works really nice. You could do a surround sound where you change um, the position of the sound. Uh, you can do uh, bass enhancement stuff. You can do field, you know, where you want the sounds to come out of. Bass filter works, all that stuff works. You know what I mean? The touchscreen has never, never frozen on me before. That seems to work properly. And um, everything else that I can think of for the stereo just seems to work. And I, I like I like it that the settings in here gives you so many options to customize this thing for yourself. You know, you can put your own um, splash screen. You can put your own um, desktop background. Uh, never mind the temperature here with this clock. I'm going to get rid of it um, once um, I start customizing it ready to, to where I want it to go. Comes with two USB ports. Let me come down here, see if I can show you guys that. Hold on. It might be a little too dark. There we go. All right. So one USB port is where I have the... Uh, the um, USB plug-in for the iPhone for Apple CarPlay. The second one is very interesting. This one right here actually is for a SIM card. So I'm tethering right now through Wi-Fi, but if I want to put a SIM card in here, I could open this right here, pop a regular SIM. Now you have um, data through your cell phone provider or who else if you want to put in and that's used. I haven't done that yet because I don't have the size SIM card that it's looking for but I'm gonna be able to get that shortly. Pop the SIM card in and that should pick up and it would show right here um, on that slot with the question mark. Uh, but right now there's nothing in it, so it's not gonna show that there is a SIM card required. Um, it's not gonna show who the provider is. That's what I wanted to say, but yeah. Uh, those, are some, uh, those are some of the features of the radio. It is nine inch. It is perfectly good screen at night. It dims out nice and dark for you without an issue at all. I like that. Now, you might be wondering the climate control. The only drawback that you could say, well, it's, you don't, might not like it. I love the installation of it, right? The installation is very clean. I like the shape of it, everything. Yes, the climate control panel is recessed. But you know what? To be honest, after driving around for five minutes, I've noticed that it's recessed. It still works. It's still good. Uh, the ashtray still opens without a problem and so forth and so on. So that doesn't bother me at all. But all in all, a very good radio, very good stereo to use. Um, if you guys are looking to upgrade from your stock um, radio in the E90, E92 series BMW to um, an Android, uh, it's plug and play. I didn't have to splice any wires at all. The wiring harness that comes in, it works properly. So this would be my recommendation for you guys to get. This is the Joyin, J-O-Y-I-N-G, Android 9-inch uh, car stereo. I'm going to put a link to this radio in the description of the video. But thanks a lot, guys, for joining me. Let me go enjoy driving the crap out of this car and listen to music loud. I will see you guys. Take care. XB72. Sign up. Bye.